Beautiful Sagittarius, this is Tammy from Spot On Psychic Readings, and I'm here to do your reading for just a snapshot of the month of August. So um, just want to thank you all so much for all your support of my channel. It means the world to me. All of your comments and all of your likes and everything, it's, um, it just touches me so much. So thank you so much. Really appreciate you all from the bottom of my heart. So I'm going to pull the Enchanted Path cards and switch over to, to the tarot today and we'll see what's coming up for you, Sag, okay? So I like to pull these by feel. I've already shuffled and cleared the energy and so I just start to tune into you all and I pull these by feel, okay? There's a hot card. Let's see what the hot card is right off. Ooh, you might have an unexpected visitor, Sag, <laughs> okay? Um, that was really a hot card. We'll get more on that. That's very interesting. All right, let's do the rest. Let's see what else is coming up. Your cards are hot. <laughs> it's that fire energy, right? Um, protecting treasure. All right. Let's see. We've got cleaning house. That's a balancing act, but it's reversed. Ooh, tingly card, what is this one? Oh, a sad embrace. Hmm. All right, we'll look into this. Intention. All right, these two are coming up together. This is um, deep freeze and encouragement all coming up together, okay? And we've got heal, healing, okay, the healing card. Okay, so let's look at this for a minute. Um, this is really interesting. So you may have an unexpected visitor coming up. And based on the sad embrace, I, I feel like these two kind of go together, okay? This is number 45 and 41, if these numbers help, okay? Sometimes the numbers are for people. You know, they mean something to you specifically, all right? So I just want to give you those. Um, I feel like this visitor may make some of you sad, and it's weird that this came up because um, I'm Sagittarius too, you know, and I've just been having, like, this really sad day of a lot of stuff from the past coming up, um, you know, just sadness over childhood memories, you know, nothing bad, but just sadness over, you know, not being around my grandparents anymore and things like that. And I feel like um, some of you may be feeling that too and may be having an um, unexpected visit from someone in spirit even. The sad embrace may be coming from spirit, um, you know, a deceased loved one, okay? And it may be quite unexpected. And we'll get some more info on this. I'll pull, pull some more cards on that because I find that really interesting. But those two definitely are going together. Some of you may be feeling like you need to protect your valuables, whatever is valuable to you, whether it's money or stocks and bonds or children or pets, um, your home, you know, whatever's most important to you, your memories, lots of things like that. I see a lot of you really um, putting an umbrella over that in some way, you know, really a big protection over what's most valuable to you, your personal treasures, okay? And it may be hard for some of you. It looks like it's coming up in the conflict position. So it may be um, difficult for some of you in some way. Some of you may be cleaning house. This is the cleaning house card. And I feel like this is having to do with you getting rid of old things from the past that don't work for you anymore, decluttering, clearing out psychic energy, um, you know, any anything that is making your space feel neater and less cluttered, um, you know, will help you be clearer psychically and also just on your path in general. It'll, it'll clear up where am I going, you know, when you get that old stuff out of the way, you know, it always feels so, so much better because then you've got the things that are actually functional and working for you and not in your way. You know, it gets rid of a lot of obstacles, both physically and energetically. Some of you may have been going through a balancing act and maybe having a hard time with this. It did come up upside down, the balancing act card, okay? 
um, they're talking about setting your intention, all right, using your psychic abilities with this owl to set your intentions on what you want to hatch. See that big egg? It's like, what do you want to hatch from that egg? What do you want to like give birth to, Sag? What do you want to bring into your life, okay? And I feel like this is going to be on your mind a lot. Um, in August, you know, where we've passed the halfway point of this year. So it's like, what do you want to do with the other six months? You know, what do you want to do going into uh, the next five or six months here, the last part of this year? What do I want to hatch? What's most important? Um, what's the focus? And you can see the owl has a dandelion, you know, in its beak. And that dandelion, when it blows on it, is just going to send all those things that represent thoughts and intentions out into the universe, okay? So think about that, the words that you say and what you send out there, okay? And what you want to hatch. <laughs> Some of you may feel like you are coming out of a deep freeze. You can see the deep freeze card that has a lion on it. Some of you may have felt like You've just been sort of numb, sort of frozen, kind of over it. Maybe you're just staying in your house, um, kind of alone, maybe you've pulled back, um, and you're coming out of that. I see you thawing out. Some of you may have done that um, with regards to a relationship. You may have just sort of frozen over for a while. But there is encouragement coming up. And I got this card for Sag last time, this giraffe card, and I'm still very excited about this giraffe card like I was in the previous reading. The giraffe card is the encouragement card. So they want to encourage, on one level, they want to encourage you to come out of your deep freeze, you know, to open back up, to open back up to life if you have been in that situation where you've been kind of frozen. The other thing this giraffe card represents is ascension. Um, it is the card of, you know, when you see these giraffes, it, it is the sign of having a very much higher perspective. You know, they're very tall, of course, so they have a higher perspective. And this giraffe is nurturing its little baby giraffe. So there's a lot about nurturing your, your soul growth and your soul path and maybe even children or um, baby animals, you know, depends on your picture, but there's a lot of nurturing and encouragement and you may be encouraging um, young people in your life Sag and you may be encouraging yourself okay or all of the above okay it's a really important card I love that it came out twice for Sag it's so cool so some of you may be still healing um, this is the heal the ouch card and it may mean that you're still healing from something and you just need to kind of tune into where that pain is and work on healing it releasing it um, in that way so that you can sort of keep unfreezing if you're in that position of feeling like um, you were in some sort of a deep freeze okay so some really deep cards there okay I'm gonna ask them where else I'm trying to see where to go with this let's look into this first card that came up this one you know this unexpected visitor gave me such a hot feeling you know and I pulled it and so did the sad embrace so I feel like you know when I get that kind of heat coming off cards it's pretty intense you know it's telling me um, it's important you know there's a lot of energy there okay it may heat things up for you in some way Sag so let me see what they're what they're talking about with this okay this one really went to fly out king of cups so for some of you, um, your unexpected visitor is going to be this King of Cups. This is a, um, you know, it is a male figure. It comes up as a king. Um, flip it if you need to, you know, for your situation. But I read the cards just as they come up. Just give them to you as I get them. And he is a figure that is very in touch with his heart and emotions. Good, good conversationalist. Um, very interested in the arts and music and things like that as opposed to maybe sports um, and I get that he can be um, a good counselor in some ways like he's a really good listener uh, this, this man's very gentle and very very gentle soul and very heart-centered and he may be an unexpected visitor for some of you Sometimes that's a father or father figure. Could be your father, could be he is a father, okay? 
Let's see what else. This could be a sudden love affair, Sag. This is coming up at the Eight of Wands, okay? Let's see what else. That can be a trip. Um, something sudden. Something really fast and sudden with this King of Cups coming in. There's new opportunities or something you don't see coming with this. I feel like this, again, it's unexpected. I mean, that's what that card said, and so does this one, Two of Wands. It's kind of like something waiting in the wings, like you're waiting for this to happen. What else, Sag? <laughs> okay, and here is the Page of Cups. So this is gonna be some kind of message of love coming from this King of Cups in this case. This could be somebody younger. Sometimes the Page of Cups represents someone younger. And there's always a troublemaker. Here is um, this Page of Swords also. So let me get a little bit more on that one and see what else is coming here for Sag. So what we've got so far is your unexpected visitor. It looks like it could be somebody that is bringing some sort of a love off for Sag. Um, something you don't see coming and could be bringing unseen opportunities and that sort of thing. Then we came up with this page of swords so there may be somebody kind of spying on you and that sort of thing and this goes to a whole different energy. This is not connected with king of cups unless somebody's watching this which it could be. Um, someone in this picture is a psychic. Okay this is high priestess energy. Um, there could be secrets being revealed in this situation, but I feel like for a lot of you, um, you know, there are a lot of Sagittarius psychics out there, and I feel like this could represent your energy. Let me see how this connects up, <clears throat> Sag. Some of you tarot readers yourselves, for sure. Yeah, and you're going to have a new beginning. So, so I don't know who this troublemaker is yet, but I feel like somebody's spying on you with regards to this new love relationship. There's not a lot more that came up about this Page of Swords, so I feel like that's temporary or just somebody from the past who's watching you, you know, maybe online or social media or something like that. Um, I feel like for some of you, you are going to have some sort of new beginning, passionate new beginning shown with this Ace of Wands next to this High Priestess. So. For some of you, you're going to have some sort of a um, uptick in your business. If you are a tarot reader, you may be um, this may be going really well for you. You may be getting more clients or more offers or more readings, things like that. Um, this is also having to do with more money and also passion, and it could mean that your King of Cups is coming in through. Um, your intuition, your dreams, or your tarot readings. It could be, you know, somebody coming to you for a reading. But I'm also feeling like there's some sort of a love offer and new opportunities that are coming in. This will be a new friend at first, and then um, this is somebody really unexpected. Again, an unexpected visitor. This is so interesting, Sag. But there's a lot of passion connected with this. A lot of energy, a lot of passion, a lot of intuition. Um, potentially travel you know with some of you there could be travel I want to know more about the sad embrace what is going on with that I don't know but here's the wheel of fortune <laughs> they're they're not talking about the sad embrace card they're still talking about how this is going really well for you this new beginning with your either your business or your love life or both you're, you've got wheel of fortune coming up here Sag <laughs> this is so good you know, I mean, the Wheel of Fortune is the obvious card. It represents good fortune. It represents good luck. It represents things going in your favor. For some of you, it can represent a new car, you know, wheels. Um, that's really cool. Anything else, Sag? Yes, whole new journey. Here's the Fool card. I feel like for a lot of you, you're starting off on, I don't know, a whole new path. I feel like you're done, you're coming out of this deep freeze they talked about earlier, and you're really going on this new path where there's new love, there's new business. You may be doing some sort of spiritual business, like I said, a tarot reader yourselves, or you're doing some sort of, um, I don't know, other kind of spiritual business that 
brings you in a lot of good fortune, a lot of money, helps you meet other people. You know, this King of Cups can be a counselor or um, a doctor. They can be medical. They can be natural healers. You may be meeting somebody like that in connection with your spiritual business that is just kind of um, really exploding, you know, at this time with success. There's a lot of success and passion cards here. And a whole new path, a whole new path here for sure. Sag, <laughs> look at this. Here you've got Ace of Pentacles too. Okay, so we've got Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Wands, and Ace of Pentacles. Um, does it get any better than that? <laughs> I'm going to leave it right there today, Sag. Um, I'm just so happy for you. I am so happy to give you such a success-filled reading. This whole reading is like so amazing. This is so good. I can't wait to hear in your comments how this plays out this month. Again, I'm looking at kind of a snap. I'll be doing other readings, you know, weekly too, but I'm just doing a snapshot for August just for the whole month. I'm like, what's coming for the whole month of August for Sag? Um, Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, the King of Cups, Unexpected Visitor, Whole New Path, um, something about a tarot reader or using your intuition um, maybe dreams about all of this. Maybe you're going to have some premonition dreams, Sag. Whew, this is amazing. <laughs> this is amazing. I'm going to leave it right there. And thank you all again so much for all of your support and all of your likes. And thank you so much. I'll see you all again soon. Okay, bye.